got a question come in from a viewer. We thought we'd let you handle Kirk. So this is Chris from Alberta, and she says she start off. She starts off every morning as follows. She cleanses her face, she adds an uplifting moisturizer, then she adds a repair intensive cream, then she adds the primer, followed by the sunscreen, uh, and then the foundation, and then she starts with the makeup. <laughs> if you're a man, you're already taking a nap now. <laughs> yeah. If you're a woman, a lot of you understand there's a lot going on with the face. <laughs> yes. So we thought, let's spend a little bit of time talking about building that face. Because right. there are a lot of things you can put on. What is the right order? How long does it take for each step to set? So where do you start? I know. It sounds pretty intensive. Oh, my but goodness. But my kudos. Well, sorry, what was her name again? Chris. Chris. Kudos to Chris. Kudos she to Chris. is. She's got it going on she's uh, when on it comes it. to she's looking gonna after look herself. She's going to 21 forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know what? She's from Alberta. Alberta's very dry in its air. Yeah. So she needs a little extra emolliency and a little bit more nourishment to her skin. So Absolutely. that could be one of the reasons. But let's break it down a little bit more easily for okay. everyone. Because it sounds very intense, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. The first thing when you're working with treatment is to put your eye cream on. Now, some people don't feel the need for special eye creams, but I'm a big fan of them. They have special reasons. You lightly pat it on. You put it on first because then you're not going to mix anything else with, with your fingertip around the eye zone. Got it. And they are ophthalmologist tested, so they're meant to be used in that area. So you okay. start with your eye cream. Yeah. Then you use your face moisturizer. Use the one that's right for your skin type, your skin condition. She's using something that's uplifting. Yep. Some people may want just more hydration. Um, whatever it might be, but use your moisturizer. And then are you putting that on over the eye cream or are you putting well, it around? Well, the eye cream goes a little closer to the eye around the orbital bone and yeah. the moisturizer would go around the perimeter of that area. So you don't necessarily so. have to wait for your eye cream to set all no. the way. Okay. No. And the beauty of putting the eye cream on first is by the time you get to your eye makeup, it's, it's set. set. It's, it's done. So Right. Yeah. Okay. So you've done your eye, you've done your moisturizer. You've done your face moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Then you would put your sunscreen on. Right. Um, the reason being, now there's always back and forth on all these rules and rules are made to be broken, but sunscreen would go on sort of the last of your treatment products because it's going to go closest to the sun. Right. Uh, choose a sunscreen that is best suited for the face uh, rather than just using a body one and putting it on your face. They're usually formulated to be a little lighter in texture. Mm -hmm. uh, choose one that's broad spectrum, UVA and UVB, so right. it'll help last a bit longer throughout the day. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, use something very comfortable so that when you're layering, you're not feeling like you've got a lot of stuff on. Or you can use a moisturizer with sunscreen. Would you recommend that? That would be your shortcut, yes. Yeah. You certainly can. A lot of moisturizers do come with a built-in sunscreen. Yeah. Just make sure it protects against UVA as well as the UVB, UVB. Uh, because the SPF only references the UVB. So okay. you might feel like you're getting it all, but you might not be. So next in line is next your primer. In line. So now we're getting sort of closer to the makeup. Right, <laughs> exactly. Right? So now we're uh, heading into makeup territory. You put your makeup primer on next because that's going to go closest to the makeup. Right. Uh, again, you can choose one that's suitable for you. If you need mattifying, you can choose one that mattifies. If you need more moisture, a bit more of a glow, you can choose one that does that. Yeah. But makeup primers basically set, help set the foundation, set your makeup in place so it'll last well throughout the whole day. Would you ever use a primer? Like my primer it feels like a moisturizer. Well, Can they, you get they a do. primer slash moisturizer sunscreen in one no. or are we, we're going too far? <laughs> no, now you're trying to cut too many corners too here. Too many corners being <laughs> yeah, cut. Yeah, no, primers, um, they have usually silicones in them. They have great slip and they may feel right. moisturizing, but they They're don't not. take the place. No. Oh, man. Okay. I know. So next we get to the makeup. We're starting with our concealer. Right. Uh, yes. So this is another area where rules can be broken, but yeah. I say put your concealer on first mm -hmm. and then put your foundation on. Mm -hmm. Now it sounds like, you know, we're talking about building the house. It sounds like we should well be well into the foundation by now. <laughs> uh, put the concealer on first. You can see where you need it under the yeah. eyes. If you have a blemish, what have you, you can always go back and put it on after your foundation. If you see something that needs a little extra touch up, right. but put it on first, then your foundation. Finish off with a powder uh, to set everything. Can right. be a pressed powder, can be a loose powder, whatever it might be. It doesn't have to take too long. I know it yeah. sounds a little intense, and I know we lost any any guys. They're like, well, no wonder you know oh, my no. wife takes so long. But but it can point. become quite routine if you get into the habit. Okay, yeah. that is a good list there. Well, I hope you were all paying attention uh, to Kirk's. <laughs> There'll be a tips. quiz. That's right. He